who wanted to make an argument that he was the greatest coach in the history of American team sports. You could defend it. He is Mike Krzyzewski, and we are delighted to welcome him live to get up the day after the announcement yesterday being made officially that uh, one and done, if you will, coach, to use a term that has become common <laughs> in, in your profession these days. And so thank you, uh, Mike. What, what made you decide that this was the right time and the right way to do this? By the way, I've not heard the one and done thing. That's a that, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, you know, uh, I've, my wife and I have talked about it for the last few years, but not seriously. And in this spring, we're both 74. Actually, we celebrate our 52nd wedding anniversary today. We got mm -hmm. married on graduation day at West Point, and and uh, after the season, it wasn't because of COVID. It, or the nature of college basketball or anything like that. And we said, is, is it time? You know, we have 10 grandchildren and they're all, they all live around us. And, and then we took time. Once we said, we'd like to do it one more year, and then we got our daughters together. And uh, we've always made like a family decision. We have three daughters and uh, we actually call ourselves from the start when we started it. Uh, when we finally got all three, we called ourselves the starting five. Mm. And uh, and then I talked to my staff and uh, Kevin White, my AD, and Vince Price, my president. And I did it along. We did it along the way, and it, it just it, it's time. It's time. But I I wanted one more year. I, I, I'm excited to coach and passionate to coach next season, but I know it's going to be the end. So I didn't want to recruit anybody and then tell them at the end of the year, I'm, I'm leaving when I already know I'm leaving. And uh, in this way, uh, if we could name a coach, and one was right there, right on our, <laughs> John Shire, John's ready, he's my top assistant. And uh, so we can do this year, and that can be a runway for John and Chris Carrawell and Nolan Smith uh, to form their team uh, throughout in recruiting. So. I think it's a good plan. As a military guy, I'm always, I've always thought of succession. It's mm -hmm. part of leadership. Uh, it's not just you leading and then leaving. It's you leading and helping somebody, in the uh, you know, succeed after you know, six, be, have that continuity of excellence afterwards. So that's what a, I think a good leader does. Coach, my observation watching your press conference yesterday was how happy you looked. H how would you describe yeah. your emotions right now? Yeah, I'm very, you know what, I'm proud. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm proud of the guys that I've coached, the teams. Uh, and I've, I really do feel I'm a, I've been the luckiest guy in the world and, uh, to do this and do it at Duke and with the U.S. team at West Point. Come on, you know, like, so uh, I'd rather celebrate that. And, and uh, I feel great about it. And, and then hearing from so many people have brought up the relationships, whether they're former players, uh, former staff members, fellow coaches, uh, and just friends, who I, you, know, you find out that so many people have shared those moments with you, which makes it really, uh, even more uh, fulfilling. One of those, of course, is Jay Williams, who is, of course, you know, works with us here. And he said on this mm -hmm. show yesterday, Coach K doesn't coach players. He changes lives. Coach, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. I, I would think uh, it, it means that you develop, you know, really lasting relationships with them. Uh, one of the cool things, Granny, about coaching in college and uh, you had it even more when guys were here for four years, where you help guys develop, uh, not just as players, but as people. I call it crossing bridges of improvement. And where you, when you help somebody cross the bridge, whether it become a better player, better student, better person, uh, uh, they remember that. And you end up crossing some bridges with them in, later in their adult lives, too. And what, what, what I call it is, you know, re, you know, solid, fulfilling relationships. And with, with Jay, you know, he was as good a player as there was in college basketball, two-time national player of the year, second pick in the draft. And, 
you know, he has this horrific accident, and you know, boy, he had a huge bridge to go. <laughs> Yeah, you know, to yeah, you know, I'm I'm so proud of what what he's done, and uh, I mean he should he should still be should still be playing, and uh, and be he'd be an NBA All Star. Instead, he had to overcome that, and then uh, become. I told him he still has some work to do in the media, but uh, <laughs> he's become a good father, good husband, and I'm proud of him. And hey, coach, you've told me many times that college basketball needs some sort of central leadership, someone like Adam Silver right. to run everything. What would you say if I said the best person to do that starting a year from now is you? Well, it's not a job I'm looking for, but behind the scenes, I've tried to be on committees and, you know, round one right now. And it's very frustrating, Greeny, and it, it, it really, uh, the NCAA, um, the bureaucracy, and uh, they have to be at a certain level. And but uh, it's such a slow process of change; it's not kept up with uh, the, the with the pressures that are put on the, the game of men's college basketball. Yeah, we're really the only sport that is competed against by outside entities. The NBA. You know, there's the NFL, there's Major League Baseball. We're not talking about that, but there's the G League Ignite. Uh, there's overtime that's going to be for high school players where they get paid. There's another one that's develop, trying to be developed for college. And, and then it's, it, you have to recognize that you're in a competitive business. Uh, men's college basketball is not just a sport. It's a billion-dollar business. It's a billion-dollar business, and it needs to be run more like a business 